This is Euro from Alienware Nut. Today, we're gonna to be upgrading the Area 51 R2 from a 5820K to a 6850K processor. Now, they're both six cores. Uh, one is from the previous generation, Haswell E, and this one's from the Broadwell E line. So, uh, what I had to do before, and actually, I uh, this was from a previous video, I had to actually upgrade the BIOS from the very ancient a01 BIOS uh, that was dated something like uh, to, something in 2014 to the latest, which is uh, as of this time the A13 BIOS. So uh, I believe that they had made the change in the A08 BIOS to accept the Broadwell processors, the Broadwell E processors. So uh, you have to make sure you have that that BIOS in place before you decide to do an upgrade to the Broadwell platform. So uh, without further ado. I'll show the upgrade. Before I start, one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is that I always use this uh, type of thermal paste, this Arctic Silver 5, uh, right here. So this is pretty much what I use um, across all the processors that I do upgrades to. Um, another thing too, and I think Linus from Tech Tips, from Linus Tech Tips and pretty much any other uh, you know, technology blogger out there is gonna hate me with the way that I spread uh, this thermal paste, but I've had success in the past. Maybe it's a waste. That's okay But I've had success and I feel good with it. So uh, I actually use the pinky method um, I'll, sh I'll be showing you guys shortly. All right, so first thing we have to do is remove the the water block right here. This is an all-in-one unit, so uh, It's pretty simple. I Do like it because it has the Alienware logo and of course I am the Alienware nut, and I love all things Alienware, so there it is. No, I'm not paid by Dell or Alienware. They're both the same, uh, but that'd be nice. Maybe someday, I don't know. Anyway, so here we go, remove that. I will put that here somewhere else. Oh, oh boy, the ring. Oh, thanks. Crisis averted. So actually, what had happened was this little ring came out and uh, so I just had to line it here. Not a big deal, but yes, this little ring right here had come off. It's a little plastic ring, and then this metal sheet, uh, metal ring came off, and so I had to just put them back together. Not a big deal, but um, didn't think you guys would actually want to see that. Well, unless you did, then leave me a comment. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just simply squeeze here. That's the first one we squeeze, and then this one right here, and take the processor out. Okay, here we go, we're going to do this, and take the old processor out. Alrighty, so an important thing you have to make take notice of uh, when you have one of these machines, or actually any X99 motherboard, is that you have to make sure that this little uh, triangle thing here, I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, hopefully you can, but if not, well, and I apologize, but it is uh, it's not opening. right there. There's a little triangle right there, and it actually points out where you need to align the processor to. The processor also has a little triangle, and it's actually, let me show you guys, it's, it's actually right there. There's a little triangle right, right there, and uh, eh, there it is. See, a little triangle right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up to the motherboard. So that, what this means is that this is actually this way. So kind of backwards from the, the way you guys are seeing it, but it's the way it goes in. So then we just simply push that one down and then we push the other one down. That, uh, that's that part. So the next part is gonna be applying the thermal paste. All right, so Arctic Silver 5 is what I use. No, I'm not paid by them. But they do make nice thermal paste. All right, so uh, <laughs> this is that part where typically people would leave it right there. You know, they have the little dot method. Um, I'm weird. I spread it around and yeah, it's just the way it is. And I just feel good about that. And I know maybe, uh, maybe I just like to waste thermal paste. But uh, whatever. Or maybe it doesn't spread as evenly, I don't know. I, I just, uh, 
I just never had a problem doing this. I'm gonna check my temps and everything looks good. So, but you guys can definitely run in the comments and tell me how bad this is and maybe I'll just be convinced to not do it this way anymore. It's like painting little trees. Hopefully somebody got that reference. All right. So now that we smeared it around the evil way, all, right, all we have to do now is apply the uh, the water block. So we're gonna do, what am I doing? That's not how it goes, how dare I? Mm. Tighten these screws up like so. What I like to do is I like to tighten these screws up in a kind of a star pattern, um, except not too tight. Don't do that too tight. Come on, Euro, not too tight. And not too tight, but uh, just just snug. Everything is nice and snug. We got a thermal paste in. Water cooling unit in. All right, so now we're actually gonna try it and, um, and uh, well, hopefully we'll post, right guys? Here's gonna be the test. I've already connected the computer and uh, we'll see what happens. The it should start up with the new processor. And uh, once we start up, we need to go into the BIOS. So let's see, come on, come on. Oh, oh, that's good. We got a post screen. All right, and there we go. Let's see, right here, the 6850K is being listed and um, at 3.60 gigahertz. So this is great. Our next step is gonna be to, uh, well, probably overclock the processor and uh, and uh, let's see how far it could go. But uh, for now, let's just boot into Windows. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.